they were uh-huh. tanks and uh the yung uh, from the other squad man, from U level now it's already okay. been blue fire sila ngayon is unseen is a main support Shu is an off lane so parang they actually lacking and yun yung fulfill in yung bagong player nila which is Slims si that we haven't seen on how he actually performs lalo na sa ganitong kalaking liga ah uh, well uh, ano dere isa yun yung sa mga pinaka exciting na pa yung mga bagong players no mm-hmm. not just the new teams but actually the new drafts for uh, uh, active rosters here in the MPL. We already have the drop set in, mga kaibigan. Pero bago lang tayo mag-break down dyan, I just want to emphasize, uh, I love, again, yung binanggit talaga dito ni Puzakin na meron silang strat for everyone, not just on NXP. Habang yung NXP naman, dineclare nila na dudurugin nila lahat ng teams sa MPL. You know, pa- sorry ah, medyo geek, no? Pero this, this reminds me of uh, Yukihira Soma, alam mo yun? Uh, if you've watched Food Wars, si Yukihira Soma, Okay. Sa Pumar, may academy doon eh. May academy. Yun yung top culinary academy mm-hmm. ng no? uh, Japan. Tapos, pagpasok na pagpasok ni Yuki Hirasoma doon sa academy, ang sinabi niya, niya taka agad, ako yung number one. <laughs> supposed, oh, to be, I... dapat, supposed to be dapat yung recognition speech mo, parang applause yung ending eh. Pero yung, uh, yung, yung naging resulta, ang daming galit sa kanya. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, pero yun talaga yung truth eh. That's the truth eh. If you, mm-hmm. are, if you know your goal, If your goal is to be number one, then that's it. And to be number one in MPL requires, yeah, durugen. Mm-hmm. Durugen talaga yung oh. ibang team na to really prove without doubt that you are the best team. And that's what Next Play Solid plans in doing so. Mm-hmm. And anyway, let's go. We get the draft completed here. Blue Fire removing the Selena. Uh, apart sa, i-mention ko na ito. We got also the PNK, finally, no? Napapansin na siya. Next Play, we're gonna be removing that. They don't want to deal with the uh, Urinos as well. What direction are we heading here? Uh, Ram. Uh, I'm gonna look at here. So YSS, yeah, yung ayon na open. I was actually thinking, uh, kasi on the previous uh, series natin, the Khalid parang hindi siya nawala all throughout the uh, three games. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, oh, so somehow dito, medyo na bago siya. And even on the uh, the draft, I mean the banning itself, hindi nila tinanggal yung Atlas, hindi nila tinanggal dito yung Kufra. And somehow, uh, just basing on N- NXP solid, is me- si Yawi, which is their tank user, one of mm. the best. Kufra user. Kufra, uh, yes, I, yes. I'm pretty sure that Blue Fire knows that. Mm. So they're actually willing to give it just to get the the use on. Mm. And so, they're giving the they're giving the YSS, which I think the best carry right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Carry right now in the game to H2, ah. <laughs> like they're giving that for free. Pero at least at the cost of what Atlas, yun laruan. No, so ang ganda rin na may napiling Atlas din siguro dito. Ang sasagutin yata ng Blue Fire dito yung harapan, eh, no? Mm-hmm. Toto, toto. Ang um, ano lang no, medyo mababago siguro dito on the series because the the two top tanks was actually being laid out. Both teams may Kufra, may Atlas. So we will be having a more uh, AoE centric lineup dito coming from Blue Fire. I'm not re- really sure kung ano yung magiging pinaka carry. This could be a possibility na Yuzong uh, nil, eh. may mga mga teams magawa noon but NXP solid, a very solid pick for the low yi kasi yun yung isa sa pinakamagandang ingredient dito for yeah. Blue Fire. Uh, yeah. in, uh, in correlation of course with Atlas. Yeah. Kasi uh, if you, the Atlas advances with a perfect match, Fatal Link, sa likod, lapagan mo lang ng dispersion yun eh. Tapos pwede ka na mag-vacuum doon. The, the, the possible proc possibly on that, ano, kung, kung low ka. I don't see any reason for next play din na mag rin talaga for, for the, against this composition. And now, we are seeing bans here at wala pang carry naman na nire-reveal dito yung blue fire. Although Link is not yet banned. Definitely. Pero mag There's lang. a good thing here. Uh, I was... Even thinking kung magkaka... Kasi uh, on the side of NXP solid, YSS, yes, most of the time being used on mid, pero he could be able to be used on side lane as well. Kayang-kaya niya mag-sustain din sa lane niya. Uh, given the, your, the second skill of it can be able to ki- clear the minion wave, Black then the you have gods, your yeah. mountain shocker na para mag-provide uh, mm. overall AOE or global damage doon uh, sa buong mapa and vision as well. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I... So I was really thinking what's gonna be there. Uh, Hellcurt will be banned. Okay, of course that was a Renegade hero. Oh yeah, uh, target Renegade. So actually, uh, uh, question did or magiging Renegade hero if are we seeing a Masha? Mm-hmm. Are we seeing oh, a Hilda? Sure. Yeah, Hilda, Hilda, definitely. Uh-huh. For this part, actually Hilda won't be uh, won't be bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, I, I believe in this kind of composition they can utilize that to maximum use. But man, they're willing to embrace the ano, the Uranus no with uh, an Esmeralda. Normally you can counter the Esmeralda by landing crowd controls no, mm-hmm. and at the same time lagyan mo ng proka agad ng ano um uh, necklace of Durance for this. But 
They want, ano, siguro dahil sa Cho, siguro they want to uh, deal as well with the uh, Yuzong. Plus, ano na eh, kasi nasa likod na si H2 eh. So, siguro, protectan mo na lang si H2 talaga. Mm-hmm. Yun na lang, ano, dito lang eh, next play. Well, it's, uh, it could be easily be done, of course. Uh, sobrang solid naman nung frontline nila dito. It's gonna be Yawi. Let's go, Fra. Tapos, ang mahirap kasi dito, no, on this specific, kapag ka may low, it is probably gonna be a chest or hero. Is mas ang bilis nung magiging ikot nila dito and mabilis din yung magiging funnel nila dito for the YSS. The Valir, oh, the Kimi would be a good pick dito. They could be able to turn yeah. all this up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no Hellcurt, no? No Hellcurt. Um, hindi na pwede mag Lancelot, no? And, hmm. ayan, at uh, another side lane na lang talaga yung option dito. Uh, ng uh, next play mm-hmm. Kimi will look good really for this game more so with the Valir paired with him di ba? Totoo Totoo oh. Kung baga ang, ang banat ng blue fire dito eh, well scaling naman sila dito kayang kaya nilang i-hold yes YSS could be able to be uh, to out uh, if ever man na mapasok nila dito yung Kimi pero di, di, there was an Atlas there was a Valir that could be able to show everyone off for LXP mm-hmm. solid so the, the big question is how would they be able to take down the Kimi? It's all about ah, yeah. the rotation on the early stages of the game. Well, uh, the, the active play style, no, uh, mm-hmm. Rob, ng next play is actually designed against Kimi. Napaka-aggressive ng, ano, ng next play sa early game. Um, they ito. could start invading the Kimi. They could start giving a hard, a hard time on the Kimi. And Kimi always needs a really nice early game, especially first two minutes ng laro. And baka doon magsashine kaagad yung mga member ng next play. But I did feel na okay yung comp ngayon ng ano ng uh, blue fire well it's voting time no <laughs> rob and yeah i'll be the first one to vote na lang uh, i be, maganda yung comp ng blue fire dito but not enough for me to remove my doubt so far on this uh, roster compared to what i've seen with next play solid so i'm going to be putting my vote muna i'm going to be putting my vote on next play Smash. Uh, all right well for me i will be going against that one oh, okay. definitely kasi uh, if this pans out kapag ka na hold ito ng, uh, ng blue fire up until 10 minute more so 15 minute anytime any day this could be a, a proper win for Akimi the only mm. thing that uh, na pwedeng ipapasukan sila dito if MB eh mag overcommit na talunan agad doon si Chu and give it iba, ito yung tipo ng Kimi na medyo fast push eh yung jungle mm. FM so nga okay. eh uh, 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 yun nga talaga kaya kasi nasabi ko rin na pag ito naisahan mo sa jungle tuloy tuloy na eh pero yes by the side Dapat mas mabilis yung jungle ngayon ng Kimi natin. Tingnan mo kung gano'ng kabilis tinik yung Little Wanderer doon ng Kimi. It might be by an inch, pero that would be uh, nice. Ngayon, on the move na si Chester. Man, Chester uh, is actually disrupting ka agad. Mm-hmm. So, ano eh, no? Parang uh, kung iisipin mo dito, yung rotation dito, I think, mas mabilis para dito sa side ng blue fire. And medyo may part na ano, no? In, I was actually thinking limbs would be the one to carry, pero it's was actually gonna be true. Yeah. At, uh, oh yes, it's so interesting as well na Ang aga ng flicker doon ni Yawi mm-hmm. For that, uh, para get heavily punished there By, uh, by the Valier Pero still not gonna be enough We still have no first blood for this game, no? Um, I, I can't help but feel na parang same to nung game mo ng ano Ng Bren, tsaka, Yung tsaka Tansha. Onik Tansha. Uh, uh, Tansha sa una, tas unang kill to tuloy-tuloy na, no? Mm. Yeah, uh, it could actually go with that. Pero ito, no? ito kasi magiging uh, catch talaga dito parang sin. It's medyo negated dito si Kripsu. So it's up for him kung paano niya mapo-force out. Kasi all of, uh, actually four, at least three pala ng mga main heroes dito or core heroes for NXP Solid do have its purified. So meaning to say, Kripsu would have a hard time landing the Fatal Links into, uh, if, in case na magkaroon. Pe- pero they do have here the Yuzong na pwedeng-pwede pumasok agad doon sa backline nila na ma-fort, na ma-purify then that's the time for Kripsu to take advantage and get uh, a good or land a good Fatal Links yeah yeah uh, again alam naman natin kung gano'n ka kaya Fatal Links yung headline natin dyan kasi nga alam natin kung gano'n game changing yung Fatal Links eh diba mm-hmm. but there we go uh, alam din natin kung gano'n kaganda ang uh, macro sense dito ni H2 I can actually see kung gano'n siya ka wise sa paggamit even the Mountain Shocker just so they can establish a little bit of pressure against Blue Fire. No, buti na lang wala pang turtle on this part. Mm. I think isa yun sa ano eh, medyo magpapa differentiate on both teams kasi feeling ko mau-hold nila to eh up until the 3 minutes both uh, both lane, I mean all lanes 
most likely. So, walang mangyayari up until the, uh, do, yun yung magbibigay talaga ng advantage. Who will be able to secure the first turn then? Wala nang perfect match si Cripsu doon, ha? Ganon. Yung mga tanks natin nag-overextend, napapunish din talaga ng napakabilis. Parehas nung nangyayari halos kay Yawi kanina. Pero still, no first blood in this game. Umiinit. Alam nyo guys, mukha lang walang nangyayari. Pero pag mas matagal na walang first blood, mas lalo lang umiinit eh. Hmm. Pero ano no, uh, Bluefire is the scaling team dito. Like it's like a team time bomb para sa 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 series na to. Oh, yeah. So I guess NXP Solid will be the one to be very aggressive later dito sa first 10 minutes of the game or at least 5. Patulan diyan, Yawi. Okay, tingnan natin ah. Yawi here. There is the Fatal Links completed mula kay Crimson Array. Mga kaibigan, tutok ka agad. Pero si Choi was able to walk away. Habol ni Renny J. And he cannot tag even more. That's the first kill siguro by the members dito ng mga taga Blue Fire. At tuloy ang apoy. At atras muna hoy. Dito ngayon. Ito ang Blue Fire. And that's it. They were able to bag one members. Pero tol, namisot ko. Sino na nakakuha ng turtle? I didn't see that kasi nakatutok ako doon sa Kimi, to be honest with you guys. Kasi ang nangyari doon, actually, may kita mo na dito eh kung ano yung targeting ng NXP Solid. Even Rene J going doon sa backlane, that's why Chu was forced to go inside the tier 1 turret. Then si MB nag-avatar of the Guardian itself. Kung baga talagang tinatarget nila dito si Chu. At alam naman natin eh, Chu yung may susik talaga dito eh. Pero... At least hindi ganun nga nasa-shutdown si Cho. Tsaka isang talon lang. And it's a good thing then that I think uh, yung purification na nagbigay ng enough movement speed for Cho the moment na tumalun si Rene J. The job of Rene J was good. Talagang ano lang, uh, mataas yung movement speed na provided ng purification doon. Yeah, it, and actually it's H2O who did get the turtle. Ah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, we got H2. So again, consistency ni H2. Pero man, init ni Cripso ah. Round 2 na yun. Mm -hmm. It was Tester that was bagged in. May isang kill din naman na nakuha dito yung next play, no? Upon the, three, uh, upon the uh, replay yata. Rene J. Against, um, against Secret. Oh, oh. medyo uh, maganda ay ah, nagiging ikot dito ng Blue Fire. Let oh, alone. Nga. Oh, nga. Kung isipin mo rito, no? If Cripso could be able to get at least one defensive item and go the into a fling time. Pwede lang ulit-ulitin kung ano man yung nangyayari. I-force nila unang Fatal Links, tanggal lahat na mag, uh, ma-force nila yung Purify. Ito kasi yung medyo nag-hold lang eh for Blue Fire to be able to go in eh. Yung mga Purify. Once this, everything na wala dito, it's, uh, the LXP Solid will be on the defensive. Ah yes. Totally. Uh, lalo pa may panghabol yung Blue Fire. Flicker din yung hawak nila dito. I mean, that might be used defensively, pero pwede mo siya nag-gabitin yan. Offensively, no? We got mount on the turtle dito. And I, I cannot but feel na um, yung early expectations dito na next play, na-break ka agad ng, ano, ng blue fire. But still, there is H2. And the guy is always headlined, not really by his, mi more than his mi micro skills, but by his consistency. Hagip dito si Unseen. Mm -hmm. Doon na yata. Pwede sunod-sunod yan. Na Give Cho dito, Purification, sunod na layo ni MB, hindi makapasok si Secret. Zinozone out lamang ni Chester. Agawan dito ng buff na isecure pa rin naman yun ni Cho. Oh, oh, ang ganda. Ang ganda na nung pasok doon ni Yawi. Securing, I mean, to unseat. Medyo nawala. Nawala yung formation dito ng Blue Fire from the turtle. Parang may part sa kanila that they would like to contest. Pero parang haphazardly, nag nagdadalawang isib sila eh. Mm -hmm. diba? Parang uh, pwede yata Kaso for sure meron purify yan So you, that would actually leave Blue Fire Yung part na uncertainty Na hindi nila ma mawari siguro Na tama na ba ito na ba yung uh, opening Or hintayin muna natin Not to mention napaka-threatening ni H2 Diba tol? Mm -hmm. Tapos na nang damage niya Ganun lang A classic, uh, classic scaling On uh, YSS And YSS talaga para sa uh, On my personal opinion is One of the num The number one carry right now <laughs> Uh -oh. Ang bilis eh, ang bilis ng farm eh Ang bilis, ang taas ng damage na pwedeng ibuwa Para alam mo yung ano, early revamp kay Bruno Ganun kaagad yung batuan ng damage Yung hindi pa ready maglaro yung mga ano Yung, yung, yung community against uh, Bruno Parang ganun yung vibes ngayon with YSS Na oh, na set up dito si Creepzoo You know, those kind of free kills Binibigyan mo sa NXP, automatic yan They will take advantage of that There is the kick onto H2, hindi na follow upan kagad He got damage for reals, for serious but not enough to get any execute. Here comes MB, another re-engage by Yawi. No commitment na. And the Mountain Shocker na lang to get at, to make this advance of the Blue Fire Squad awkward. Had it been an undone script zoo, it would be a different story. Nadali pa dito yung baler natin. Yun lang. I think this is, dito na nagsisimula mag-mess up ngayon yung Blue Fire. Oo. Nawaw na sila dun sa tipong early formation nila. Like their first five minutes na nahuhold nila eh. Kaso, mm. habang tumatagal, lumalakas si H2O, the mountain shocker, nararamdaman na. 
nung mga uh, squishy heroes dito ng Blue Fire, like uh, let alone unseen or even Chu. Yeah. You have to go in with the plan eh. Automatic 'yan. Dali na rin dito si Limbs, mga kaibigan. And next play tall has taken good control now this game. That is the third turtle. They have a gold lead of 3,000. Kripzu has to walk away. Even though with the Fatal Nix is using the match defensive because they're not seeing any freedom at si Yawi uminit na hindi na sila pinahinga ngayon ng next play at nagsisimula na ang magbilang patungong pagdurog din to itong next play solid man, a secret here would have to walk away mula kay MB Taunt they're just cornering as well the Yuzong Ben, ang bilis ang bilis, kum, ang bilis maapula ng apoy dito ng next play oo, oo Medyo, eto, dito ngayon magkakaroon ng malaking problema dito yung Blue Fire. Kasi, uh, yes, they have here uh, the Kimi na probably gonna be going for hybrid. Uh, kasi, Jungle uh, go for uh, first at least a BOD item or at least Raptor Machete. Kaso nga lang, hindi nila nagawa yung gusto nila itemization. Technically, hindi na siya nag-go for BOD kasi alam nila that they were already on the back foot. Nagdiretso na kagad siya with the glowing one. Yun lang. Pero nakaisa pa rin naman. Napakabilis ng burst dyan because multiple BODs nga gana nabanggit mo. Ang mga sasay din naman na ang blue fire. And again, Kripsu trying to get the timing in for that Fatal Lynx. He went for the flicker. Fatal Lynx burns the purification. H2O trace palapit na maalam dito ang malaking buhay ni Kripsu. And follow up by Yawi. Pumumpi ang pabalik para matamaan na lang siguro si Lim. So yun na. Libring Tori na ulit para dito sa next play. Grabe. It's on a roll talaga dito for H2. The Mountain Tracker is really giving uh, Blue Fire lahat ng miyembro di nila dito having a hard time. Even on initiation. Kahit si Kripsu napapadalawang isip siya kung kailangan nila ba. Is it the time? Kasi pwedeng gawin yung Fatal Links ni, ni Kripsu. Kaso nga lang, yung mga kakampi niya, almost half HP na. Just the mere fact ng ulti ni H2. Ang bilis na scaling. Ang ganda ng brush sa likod. They will commit. Andun na si H2. Tumalot si Yawi. There is the follow-up. Beautiful play na ginawa ka agad. Na mga membro dito ng next play. Limbs tries to corner in. Mga warner na kilig ay Yawi. Pero hindi na mahalaga. Kasi yung damage na binubuga dito ng next play. Sobra-sobra. MB na pa sobra yata. Nang abante doon. Nakakuha ngayon ng kill si Cho. And goes for Danny J. One last racket. Hindi na. But overall trade is a 4-4-2. At kukuha pa yata. At mid lane ni Nibirip. Grabe, grabe yung mga pinapakita ka dito. NXP solid showing up that they're really the, the, the team to beat them dito for this specific series. And yun na nga, mga ibigan, ang pinakamaganda doon parang shit, countless threat yung binibigay nila dito sa Kimi. Parang tuloy-tuloy, uh, Rene J, yung threat ni Rene J, yung threat ng Avatar of the Guardian, hindi yes. umiwaka once na mawala yung purify niya. Parang ano na eh, parang uh, sobrang layo na ng range niya sa mga kakampi niya just to be safe and not die. You can only hit so much eh, as a Kimi, no? Sa sa binabato rin dito, uh, rub ng ano, ng uh, next play. And mm -hmm. man, hindi man nakita dun sa ating uh, highlight fully, pero yung setup ni Chester was really stellar, you no? Know? Oh, yung sa may purple brush, sa may likod, ang linis. And yeah, layer that Kufra with the Louis, very threatening. Grabe. Yung mga bagay talaga dito. Sa pwede din eh, no? I mean, kay Chester, kung iisipin mo, his ult kahit actually give uh, Chu na uh, a chance na mag-back agad eh. Just the mere fact, pwedeng fake nga eh, na ulti. Yeah. Kami yeah. from the Loi. Okay. Yawi, he did commit. Nakagip si Ansin na ako. Napapura siya yung flicker dito. Alam niya eh, merong mountain shocker. Limbs, very awkward entry there. Wasn't able to get the kill. Kinatay na lang siya ng next play doon. Valier pick nila dito, no? Parang nagiging passive. Uh -huh. Actually, too passive na to the point na nakabantay lang siya. Kung maga, parang the main role of Unseen dito is just to watch out kung sino yung papasok dito para kay Chu. That's when you think pa, no? Na main, parang mainit din yung blue fire. Mm -hmm. Tapos parang uh, kaya naman. Age to consistency can easily return the moral of whatever loss or uh, whatever loss is committed or is uh, exchanged from the mistake committed ng next play sa simula. Parang ang dali, basta okay si H2, okay lang si NXP, no? makapagbigay ng konting kills here and there. Diba? Totoo. Totoo yan. Pero ito, may, may, there's still a chance for uh, Blue Fire to be able to come back into this game. Of course, this hmm? is still Akimi. Uh, once Akimi with uh, at least a beach item na makompleto, pero Secret might actually die there. But, habol sila kay Renny Jay. Like what, uh, like what we've seen. Nakikitang-kita pa rin naman yung damage ng isang Kimi. Yun uh, nga, alam, you have to funnel it correctly into uh, proper heroes. Yeah. And ano yung yari, nag-juggle effectively ng next play yung damage ng Kimi, di ba? Oo. Parang, isa, parang you, if you are the Kimi, you find yourself hitting different targets for a short amount of time. Mamaya, gato't catch yung tinatamaan mo, 
minsan uh, Kufra, minsan Esmeralda, bottom line, no execute eh. Mm. And maybe that's where it is lacking. Walang execute kill dito yung blue fire. No? Para... Probably, uh, alam mo yun, kung Balmond pa siguro to, baka mas may execute kill pa, di ba? Para, ano eh, parang ang game, ang, ang play na lang talaga ng blue fire ngayon is turtle this one. Uh, probably give, uh, the, uh, well, well, nakuha na yung unang lord, is hold nila to up until na makakuha at least three core items dito, yung uh, si Chu that can be able to burst down. May damage pa rin naman eh. And ang mahirap lang ngayon is that Kripsu, parang hindi niya makuha yung group niya, makakuha na magandang fatalix. Yeah, napabilis ng punishment kay Ansin. The moment talaga may, may overextend, gulat factor lagi talaga yung uh, next play. And if you're not accounting that, no, dun sa pang gulat na yan, yun ang malaking problema. Set up pa ni MB tsaka ni Yawi dito sa may pinakalikod. No? Sakto yung minion wave na darating ngayon. Pero third, who's taking some damage on that? Doesn't matter. Even if Yawi is saying goodbye, ilan man ang namatay dito sa side ng blue fire? Apat! And that's it! That's gonna be two inimitable turrets to be taken in. One for the bot, one for the mid, and one for the base, and they will rotate as well. Panira ng moral, mga kaibigan, na tamang emotes. Indeed, this is the team that was hailed to be Team Payabang, but the Payabang will take the win for this game number one. Next play, solid. Wow, solid.